Okay, guys, well, I've got a really weird one for you. That's radio frequencies in your Tesla. I was on Facebook and someone here, I'll hide his name, he pulled up a comment asking about, has anyone tested the radio frequencies in your Tesla? And I thought, you know what, that's a really interesting question because, well, I tested the radio frequencies in my house. I've tested how much radiation I get while flying in a plane. This is definitely something I'm curious about. There were a lot of different comments, a lot of nasty ones, a lot of interesting ones. But I thought, well, I've got all the devices to test this and I own a Model Y. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm in the car. It doesn't know I'm in here because I've got my bum lifted off the seat. I'll turn it on and you can see how loud it is. It doesn't matter where I put this in the car. The reading's basically the same. I'm going to put my bum on the seat now so the computer's going to turn on. And again, the reading's basically the same. Now, I've just turned it down. At the end of the day, they say if you're in the country, you should be reading between under 0.05 there. Anything worse than that is, you know, city, etc. Our house registers under that 0.05. Then you're up here, you're five times at 0.5. And then up here, you're at five times again at six. That's six decimal zero zero. Just to give you an idea, here's a garage clicker. You can hear it. I'll crank this back up. You can hear it when I push it. So I'm going to push it now. Ready? So it's really interesting in the way that you can hear the different sounds. Here's a different clicker again. So every sound creates its own tone. It's really interesting. So the problem that I see here is that with the phone, it's only making a loud noise when it's up against the phone. But in the car, it honestly doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you put it in the boot or in the front or down in the footwell. It's just so, it's just so freaking loud the whole time. Okay, so we are in the Nissan Patrol now, in the garage. I've pulled the Tesla out so it doesn't interfere. I'll turn it on. And as you can tell, there's a big, big difference. I'll turn the car on now, just for a reference. That there will be the Bluetooth in the car kicking in. You can see here if I go into settings and turn, whoop, turn the Bluetooth off. That's it. Look how look how close. That is almost as good as living in the country and you're in a car. Now, obviously, if you drive around with your Bluetooth on like a normal person, I'll turn this down a bit because it's so loud. But even with the Bluetooth on, yes, it's loud. It's going to be loud while it searches for the phone. If I was going on a long trip, say when we're caravanning, I will definitely be coming up to this and clicking that. And as easy as that. Look how quiet that is. This is something that I think a lot of cars, especially these new ones, are missing. And I'm wondering if it would be just as easy in the Tesla. You know, they've got the ability to do over-the-air updates. They could just put in a Bluetooth on and off so we can turn it off in the car. Or even, you know, turn off the 4G. Now, this being said, I don't think this has anything to do with Tesla's batteries. I actually don't. I don't think it has anything to do with it being an electric vehicle. You can see here when I'm driving along the freeway in the Tesla, it's just as loud. It doesn't matter that we're in the country or anything. It's just as loud when it's driving as when it's parked. That being said, I even went and tested it at a fast charger. I just went and topped it up from 50%, something like that, and it didn't get any louder again. So it really is just the background noise of the Tesla that is just so freaking loud. I don't know, it just seems like a really simple problem to solve. And I'd just love to see Tesla hopefully address some of these things. If we see a button on the future that says, turn your Bluetooth off, I'd be so happy. Now, before any of you guys rip me apart saying, well, you sleep with phones next to your bed and your TV and your this, your that, I'll stop you there. I built my house intentionally. There's a master switch in the bedroom, turns off every single TV, every single sound system, anything that runs Bluetooth all at once, and on top of that, we turn our phones onto flight mode every single night. Every single night, our phones are on flight mode. The house is 
absolutely neutral. I'd just like to have a conversation about it. And I thought it was really interesting this guy brought it up. Anyway, thanks for watching.